folks, it is our last day in scenery, but before we go, we're gonna show you where we stayed whilst we're here for the majority of the time as our lift arrives right now to take us to Phnom Penh. So here we go. So we have stayed here at Chateau d'Encor, La Rosadance. Um, <laughs> here is the building here, and we've got some gentlemen painting it as we speak. It's apartment style accommodation, just like the Coolan Hotel, which I do enjoy, but it is about half the price. So let me show you around and tell you what you can get. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Matching, everyone's wearing a white t-shirt this morning. Oh, wow. That's good. Excellent. Here, do you want to go up? I'll give you the key. Is she up there? Yeah, yeah, everyone's up there. So first I'll take you to the reception area, which is over here. And you've got a desk with a computer. You've got a uh, full restaurant these guys have however like most places because there's no tourists the restaurant is shut so it's remaining dormant g'day how are you you've got rooms straight up here and but we're in this building across here i'll take it to the pool first before we go up to the room which is over here these stepping stones you've got to sort of step on each one it makes you walk in a funny pattern yeah you've got a nice reasonable pool area the shallow pool where max enjoys swimming and a larger pool for adults nice lawn lots of greenery around here and it does look very very nice but there are a lot of mosquitoes around here it does breed a lot of mozzies as do most places with a lot of greenery anyway let's take you up to the room now you can check out where we've been staying in detail So there's no lift here, you've got to go up the stairs. So thankfully we are on the first floor. Oh, doors open. Rightio, so first thing that meets us here, which you've seen prior, is the kitchen. And it's a fairly good sized kitchen. You get a gas stove and the gas is under there, so it's not uh what do you call it? Main gas, it's bottle gas, good sink. Plenty of bench space, proper range hood, plenty of covered space up here, and a fridge, which is really handy. So it's almost like this was designed for expats as well to come and stay long term. Here's the full shot of the living area. And look, you can have many people here, which is exactly why we got this place as a two bedroom, because, um, yeah, there's always people here. There's plenty of things to do, there's plenty of people to see, a place to entertain. I'll show you this little area. It's like a cupboard of artifacts and things. There's a couple of books in here, a couple of thingos. It's, I don't know if you can see those, but yeah, there's some thingos in there, guys, and a mirror behind it to give you the impression of space. You've got a desk. You've got Wi-Fi under the desk, and the internet is okay. It's not super fast like some other places we've stayed, but it will do for web browsing. Here's a, an area you can also sit here, which has been made use of also many, many times. TV, which is, look, it's on the small side for the size of the room, I'll admit, but you could just move things closer if you want to stream the football and watch your team lose, which is what we've done multiple times. Once we watched them lose. In this corner, you've got some books. You've got some French books. You've got this Grazia magazine. And then we get a bit Australian. Club Marine, you beauty, mate. And then we've got this magazine here, which is called Quest. What is it, Mincent Day? I don't know what that says, but it looks like Grant Denyer. Is that Grant Denyer? I don't know. And then L Magazine, so a bit of a range of reading material. Let's go outside. You get this double door here. One for mozzies, one not for mozzies, one for humans. And here's the view from our balcony, which is quite nice. You can smell the pork and rice brewing from across the road. And down there you can see this swimming pool, Yaya. Very nice. 
Let's have a look at the base room. Oh. You do have to slam the doors here. I don't like the shut. There we go, which is a bit of a pain in the bum. The master bedroom, let's have a look. Oh yes. Oh, isn't this clean? <laughs> Gee, what a smart move, waiting till we move out before I show you, just apart from the messy bed. But yeah, bed's okay, a little bit hard. Um, plenty of power points here. There's no USB chargers or anything like that, but there are shed loads of power points in every room. Um, heaps down there. Looks like there would have been a TV in here at one spot point. But yeah, you've got four power points near the bed, which is pretty good. You also get an open uh, thing over here. We call this door to the belt. Oh, there's no balcony, but you can open the doors all the way up, which is cool. So you can let the fresh air straight in. Some artwork. I like that you get a fan and an aircon in this room. Gives you the choice on how you want to be given comfort at night through methods of air propulsion. The bathroom's reasonable. The major bathroom you get a shower slash, uh, what do you call that? Shower slash bath. And a dunny here, sink, plenty of room on the sink for your bits and pieces. Um, and a nice decent sized cupboard as well with some roads which have never been worn by us. So if you're in this room, don't worry, we haven't touched them. Moving on to the guest bedroom area. You have a sleigh and Max just hanging out. You get a reasonable sized bedroom as well. Plenty of power points again. Uh, open doors to the, where we walked through before. Yeah, pretty standard. You don't get a bathroom in here, but you do get your own bathroom over here. And this one I think is better because it's got a proper shower. And I quite like that shower. There we go. Just shut that up. But yeah, reasonable size second bedroom. The bum gun broke at one point, but it was very, very promptly fixed by maintenance. So yeah, pretty good. This is handy, folks. You get yourself a washing machine. It is a small one, but if you are here for a couple of weeks and need to do a laundry, you can do your laundry here, which made a big difference. It meant we didn't have to go anywhere to do our laundry. And it is on town water, so you don't have to worry about getting iron deposits in your white clothes. Although, I probably still need to soak my whites. Is he okay? Yeah. You're just doing some stretches, mate. You got so, uh, so ankle. Oh, so bum. Not bum. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Expert stretches. <laughs> yeah, so that's it. Two bedroom, two bathroom, big living area. Um, we've got to pack and go. This room here for us was 55 a night? 55. 55 bucks a night. So compared to cool and where we were, $10 cheaper, but with a separate bedroom. Good things about here, uh, price is pretty good. Location is about the same. We are one block away from the Kulin Hotel. We are one block back from Sibutha Boulevard. And there's a whole heap of sort of street foodie places downstairs to us, which is really, really good. Things that aren't so great about this room, it is a bit dated. It does have that colonial feel about it. The Chateau de Alog, was it? Chateau, Chateau de Ancol or Rosalots. Um, lots of dark wood. These tiles remind me of like being in a pizza shop in Reservoir uh, or something like that. And it, it, is, it is bright in here. I mean, you've seen a few videos from this place. The light is not great, but it does stay reasonably cool during the day. And lastly, the other thing I don't like about this place is the mosquitoes. So even though we've got these doors, like these mosquito nets, Every day there just seems to be more and more mozzies in here. We do kill them a lot. It is something that happens in Cambodia. You do get mozzies in a lot of hotel rooms, but compared to uh, other ones we've stayed at, this has had its fair share of mozzies and I've woken up with my fair share of bites. So tell us what you think of this joint. Um, I hope you've enjoyed hanging out with us during our time at Chateau de Ancle de Rosadons. Um, have you enjoyed your stay here? Yeah. I said I don't like the bit dingy and the yeah. bosses. Mm -hmm. Oh, and lastly, the furniture. I mean, you saw how big this space is. 
Give us a bloody couch. I mean, that, that, ha that has been a bit ordinary, actually, because we know there's a couch next door, <coughs> and we don't have one, and we didn't, we didn't pinch it. We were good people. But yeah, it would have been nice to have a couch instead of some hard wooden furniture, which is dearly, dearly loved by the people of this fine country. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've enjoyed our stay here. If you've got any comments or questions, leave them below. I'll leave a link to this place also in the description down. Anyway, we've got to pack and go. See you later. Ciao.